What up players, it's Warboss Tay back up in this mug. Today we're looking at the Space Marine Captain in Terminator armor. It is a plastic miniature offered by Games Workshop. It comes in a plastic pack on the front. You've got the picture there of him all painted up and in the back you've got these instructions. The little gear on the left hand side at the bottom, P6 and 7, is just for the optional head. And it's interesting that both of these options are helmetless. So you, you do have to pick one of the two helmetless heads unless you use a Terminator head from a different kit. And uh, we're going to take a look at it now. You can see the heads there are, one is the classic Baldi and one is a head with hair and a rebreather mask. I really like how they've got the trim on that cloak sculpted on. The detail looks really, really nice. And uh, the model, as you see, is going to be armed with a power sword and a storm bolter. And everything is meant to glue very easily onto each other, to kind of fit into place. There's only one way you can pose it, unlike the old Space Marine Commander kit, which is more of a mix and match, make your own poses, everything kind of fits together and you can be, uh, you kind of have the freedom to choose. This one is more of, um, more of a set pose. It's always going to fit together like the cover and uh, that's how they're always going to come together. So I, I think doing that allows them to have a little bit more creativity, a little bit more detail in the sculpts. And so that makes me happy because it's it, it, it allows us to have uh, more detailed figures when we're ready to actually paint them up. We don't have to do so much freehand. The detail is there and uh, it's sculpted on and we can paint the trim up any way we want. So here you've got the, I think this is the Iron Halo, supposed to represent the Iron Halo. And uh, what I'm doing now is I'm kind of cutting off the pieces and, and cleaning off the mold lines, which uh, you should always do. Okay. And I'm using Model Master's Plastic Cement. It's uh, one of my two favorite plastic glues to use. You can also, I've also used Tamiya. Tamiya works just as well. Um, I, I like anything that kind of melts the plastic and then when it dries it bonds it together and it creates a really solid seal rather than just super glue that kind of dries sticking the pieces together. It's uh, more, I think, beneficial to use something like Model Master's plastic, uh, plastic cement, I think that's what it's called. So the model went together really easily. I think the only piece that I had a little bit of an issue with was the head and uh, there wasn't really too much of an issue with that either. The arms went on, they didn't have an exact seal, but because they have a larger surface area, you can kind of put the glue on the rims and the edges and press the pieces together. The larger surface area will mean that you get a, more of a chance to have a good seal. I don't know why my dog is growling. He's growling at something, maybe he sees some squirrels outside or something. So I'm gonna go take him outside and leave you with this last look of the Terminator Captain, or the Space Marine Captain in Terminator armor, all built up, ready for his first game of 8th edition, ready to get on the battlefield and start rolling some dice. Hey, thanks for watching everybody. Hope you enjoyed this little video. Stay tuned, I'm gonna be doing an unboxing of the Terminator Librarian, Space Marine Terminator Librarian, as well as some Centurions coming up. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this little video, sneak peek at all the pieces of the Space Marine Captain and seeing them being put together on uh, my channel. Don't forget to leave a comment, hit that like button before you go. We'll see you in the next video. Latest players!